So we go ahead with the um, concluding part of this chapter. That's going to be, uh, we have to start from joints. Okay. So let us see about the joints. What are joints? Joints are points of contact between bones or between bones and cartilages. So any particular joint that you take now, you can take any particular joint of your body. It's because of these joints that this particular you know, movements are really possible. Imagine that if your knee could not be bent, what hmm? a joint may hold me most of the time. So it would have been very difficult for us to walk. Right? Rather impossible, I would say. Similarly, wrist, elbows, any joint, you can take any joint, right? So it is only possible because of these joints that uh, the ease of movement is being seen in all of us. So that is what they're saying, that it is going to be a point of contact between two bones or between bones and cartilages. Okay? We can compare this unit with level. So I guess in physics, you might have done this class one level, class two level, class three level. Generally, yes, physics may have Okay. So we can compare this unit with level. Here, when we compare it with level, what happens? See, joints act as fulcrum. Okay. Respective muscle generates force to move the bone associated with the joint, okay? Now what happens is, apna uh, door hota hai, na? To door jo hota hai, dekho, door ka hinge hota hai, ne dekha hinge, ha? To jab hum door ko pull karte hai, when we try to open the door, right? That time what will happen? The door is going to come in the outward fashion, because of the presence of the hinge. But the force will be applied by whom? The force will be applied by us. Right? So, if I have to open this particular handle, one for either you know that door handle, handle ko pull karna hai, or you have the door open karna hai, so obviously, I have to use my energy, I have to use my force, I have to pull this handle, Okay, so my pulling action is going where? My force is going to exert on the hinge or on the handle. Obviously, handle is going to go on So this acts as the fulcrum. My force okay, is going to be the one which will be generated by the muscle. And where will the impact go? Where will the impact go on the hinge? Pe. So that what will not happen? The door will open but not to an extent that it will turn completely with okay that is the way they are saying that we can compare so see they are saying class one level kya hota hai. now this content is a part of your board syllabus beta. so you are off to know this from your board's point of view and i am sure you are looking at the scenarios that is going on about the uh, offline exam being conducted or not but it's for sure that 12 standard boards are going to be taking place offline according to the timetable, given timetable. So board exams shift nahi ho rahe, board exams offline hone wale hai, ye saal to definitely next year hone wale hai offline, right? So you cannot take the boards for granted and therefore this content is important from your board point of view, okay? So look at the class one level. Class one level, the joint between <clears throat> the first vertebra and the occipital condyle of the skull is an example of first class level. So that day I had shown you my friend, I had shown you the occipital condyles ke liye, kaise facets present hote hai, and you saw the atlas vertebrae or the atlas vertebra single was uh, 
you know, the point of contact between the skull and the vertebral column, right? We have seen that the other day. So that is an example of class one level. What do you mean by this? Okay, just see. The force is directed <coughs> towards the joint. Jaise, when I am going to open this door, my force will be exerted towards the handle. In the same way, here, the force is going to be directed towards the joint. Hmm? That is going to be called as what? Fulcrum. Okay. Contraction of back muscle provides force while the part of the head that is raised acts as resistance. So, one try doing this exercise. Hmm? When you move your head up, देखो पीछे कंप्रेशन हो रहा है बैक पे करेक्ट पीछे की तरफ कंप्रेशन हो रहा है बैक पे हम अग्री राइट बट इफ यू लुक एट द फोर्स हु इज जनरेटिंग फोर्स द मसल्स ऑफ योर इन द नेक रीजन एंड द हेड रीजन का जॉइंट इज गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड द फोर्स ओके एंड यू कैन मूव योर Head up to a certain limit. ऐसे हो जाता है क्या पूरा ट्विस्ट होके नीचे गिर गया वो कार्टून में होता है वो कार्टून में ऐसे कुछ भी दिखाते हैं है ना दिश ऑल दीज थिंग द कार्टून ना आई डोंट नो वॉट कार्टून इट वॉज बट ऐसे कुछ अजीब गरीब चीजें दिखाते हैं कि वो बंदे का पूरा नेक जो है वो ऐसा पूरा टेढ़ा हो गया नॉर्मल केस में नहीं होने वाला राइट सो वाई नहीं होने वाला है बेटा because there is going to be something called as a fulcrum something called as a point beyond which extension is not possible got it so this particular thing is going to be called as what resistance so there is going to be resistance beyond which it cannot move jaise mere hand hai see mujhe chaah ke bhi isko niche idhar tak nahi la sakti i cannot There is, there is a particular angle only to which I can, you know, bend my hand. Correct. Same way. Hmm? So resistance, fulcrum, and effort. Resistance, fulcrum, and effort. That is R F E. Whenever <clears throat> it is going to be in this particular uh, order, this particular order signifies class one level. Kindly remember this R F E resistance fulcrum effort. ये देखो बेटा. You can see over here in this diagram. Yeah, see. This is the fulcrum. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Anika, you are right. You are right. Okay. So, यहाँ पर It's going to be called as what? Fulcrum, resistance. Okay, so that is how the class one level is going to be defined. Okay, look at the second one. Class two level, what is it? Class two level, human body raised on toes, is an example of second class level. So when you go to stand on your toes, you see, yeah, it has been, you know. Uplifted, right? It is an example of second class level. So acts as fulcrum. Look, right? Contracting calf muscles. These are the calf muscles. Contracting because if your leg is going to be turned like this way, the pressure would come on whom? The calf muscles. Ah, huh? so here, par apne calf muscles hote hain. The contracting calf muscles provide force while raised body acts as resistance. Correct? तो यहाँ पर जो है रेजिस्टेंस है रेस्ड बॉडी यहाँ पर एफर्ट है एंड फलक्रम एंटायर फोर्स इज गोइंग टू बी जेनरेटेड जहां पूरा फोर्स जाए करेक्ट गॉट इट सो योर हाउ इज द कंडीशन एफ आर ई पहले फलक्रम दिखाई देता है फिर रेजिस्टेंस दिखाई देता है और फिर एफर्ट दिखाई देता है so this type of an example will be class 2 level hmm class 3 dekho flexion of forearm at elbow exhibits 
क्लास थ्री लेवल दिस वन ये जो अपना है दैट इज गोट बी योर क्लास थ्री हाउ सी एल्बो जॉइंट हियर द जॉइंट इज एक्टिंग एज अ फाइक्रम रेडियस एंड अल्ला आर गोट टू प्रोवाइड रेजिस्टेंस Contracting bicep muscles provides force for the movement. So, यहाँ पर कैसा है position C? Resistance, effector or effort and fulcrum. So, you have to remember the examples of the three and who comes first, second, third in the order. So, class one it is R F E, class two F R E, and class three R E. this is the key point that you have to remember the questions would be asked in your examinations based on this that give the example of class 2 level or give the order of resistance for a uh, fulcrum and effort so you have to select the right options from the given options is it okay have you understood fulcrum resistance and effort resistance is going to prevent it from falling back or it is going to prevent it from over exerting aur agar over exertion hua to swelling hota hai dard hota hai uh, bruising effect aata hai if it happens uh, you know beyond that resistance theek hai all of you okay with the joints only this much is important for the lever wala that's it hmm Good. Let us see the types of joints. Now these are very simple and easy. Without joints, various movements of the body won't be possible. You want me to explain which one, brother? Class three level. Okay. Here, in class three level, what is happening? See, the fulcrum is this. Where is the fulcrum? Elbow joint will act as the fulcrum. The effect will be seen over here. See. Okay. Uh, have you all seen a person gymming? So, हाथ में dumbbells ले जब हम लेते हैं, so when you lift the dumbbells up, okay? When you lift the dumbbells up, so what happens that time? The one who is going to lift it knows where it pains, correct? So firstly your hand, okay? यहाँ पर ये joint इधर है बेटा, joint इधर है जहाँ resistance आएगा, फिर इसके आगे या इसके नीचे तुम इसको ऐसे उल्टा बेंड कर सकते हो क्या कैन यू बेंड योर एल्बो उल्टा नो देयर इज रेजिस्टेंस ओके करेक्ट बट व्हाट हैपेंस द फोर्स इज गोइंग टू बी इसका रेजिस्टेंस का फोर्स कहां पर अप्लाई होगा बाइसेप्स है जो फोर्स अप्लाई करेंगे रेजिस्टेंस जो है वो हाथ को और नीचे जाने से बचाएगा बट उसका फोर्स कहां पर आएगा उसका फल्क्रम कहां पर आएगा ओके आफ्टर जिमिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम अरे एल्बो क्या पूरी बॉडी पेन होती है फर्स्ट टाइम जिमिंग करके आने के बाद हैव यू ट्राइड डूइंग इट ऑलमोस्ट फॉर अ वीक तो इट बिकम्स वेरी पेनफुल यू बिकम सो स्टिफ है ना आपने कभी ये एक्सपीरियंस लिया है एक्सरसाइज का ऑल द बेस्ट माई डियर इफ यू है बेस्ट बट इट पेन अलॉट For the first seven eight days, now your body becomes so stiff. Yeah, it becomes very sore and it pains a lot. My God, it's very bad for anything. Yeah, in the starting, painful होता ही है. End results are very good, right? So we have to look at the end results and motivate ourselves. Yes, it's always good to pursue a particular act for a longer time if it's going to be beneficial for me in that in the long term. Yeah, yeah, any physical activity, yes, but any physical activity. I mean, like some people are very stiff. I mean, their muscles are very stiff, and uh, some are very flexible. Some have got a very flexible body, so they don't generally have that much of soreness in their body or pain in their body. They are okay with it. But some people like me, na, very stiff. I am very stiff. My 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 muscles are so stiff, na. Even little bit of uh, you know. Uh, any physical activity is uh, done by me. I'm like you know, in a very bad position. It's like I know I I experience it. So I don't want to do that in the gym. It's like very painful for me. But anyways, it is because of these. Okay. 
So sometimes it depends on your physical activity. See, if you are going to exercise every day, right from your childhood days, now this problem won't occur. But otherwise, it, it it it's a problem. I used to once upon a time. Now impossible. The main jitni stiff ho na, like I cannot even my my finger cannot go beyond this angle also. Itna bhi nahi jata hai mere. Usse niche karungi to it starts paining over here. You try this. You try bending this particular finger. Pain kahan hota hai dekho. Hain? Yeah. So, ये मैं इधर तक भी नहीं कर सकती बट माई सिस्टर इज एक्सैक्टली अपोजिट ऑफ यू शी इज सो फ्लेक्सिबल यू नो शी कैन बेंड हर फिंगर एंड टच इट ओवर यूर वो इधर ऐसे बेंड करके इधर तक लेके आ सकती शी इज शी इज हाई फ्लेक्सिबल आई कॉन्ट इवन ड्रीम ऑफ इट इवन इफ आई ड्रीम ऑफ इट ना इन द ड्रीम ऑल्सो इट विल स्टार्ट पेन बट शी इज हाईली फ्लेक्सिबल एंड बॉडी इज वेरी फ्लेक्सिबल Anyway, so it depends. Of course, and she is not like you know, she is not thin or something like that. Yeah, she is like very plumpy and obese, but she is very flexible. So it depends upon the flexibility of your muscles. It's nothing to do with you know the weight and all those things. Flexibility is good, so this problem is not there. Me, I'm very stiff. Okay, yeah. So a point where two or more bones get articulated. is called as a joint or it's called as articulation or it's called as arthrosis okay study of joints is called as arthrology your fingers also touch your arm so oh, nice some people are really very clever remember this beta study of joints is going to be called as arthrology the bones are rigid the ligaments that covers the bone forming a joint renders slight flexibility to the bones of course they actually give a little bit of flexibility okay ligaments joints are classified based on degree of flexibility or movement they permit into three types namely fibrous joints which are known as synarthrosis or they are called as immovable joints okay so there are three types of joints present in every human body wherein one group will never show any movement that type of joints are called as immovable joints or they are called as synarthrosis okay or fibrous the second type of joints are going to be called as cartilaginous joints or slightly movable joints or they are also called as Amphi arthrosis. So little bit of movement can be seen in these type of joints. Okay. So one is immovable, the other is slightly movable. So obviously, the third one will be freely movable. Correct. The third type is freely movable, or we call it as diarthrosis, or we call it as synovial joints. Okay. So these synovial joints are the दे आर दस जो हमें थोड़े डिटेल में मतलब हम तीनों भी डिटेल में करेंगे लेकिन साइनोवियल जॉइंट थोड़े डिटेल में इसीलिए है बेटा बिकॉज इफ दो वंस विच आर एक्चुअली यू नो प्रूविंग दैट मूवमेंट इज बेस्ड ऑन जॉइंट्स कर ओके सो लेट एस सी ऑल द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ जॉइंट्स विच आर द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ जॉइंट्स फाइब्रस कार्डिलेजनियस और साइनोवियल उनको ही क्या कहते हैं हम immovable slightly movable or freely movable unhi ko aur ek kya word hai syn arthrosis amphi arthrosis diarthrosis so any word agar exam mein aata hai na beta you should be able to write down at least something on that theek hai got it chal let us see each of them in detail first syn arthrosis in this joint the articulating bones are held together by means of fibrous connective tissue so here there are no movements rather two bones okay will be stitched together i would say rather okay held together se bhi zyada main kya kahungi stitched together by right? with the help of fibrous connective tissue so these bones cannot move 
Rather, these bones are present side by side with each other. They are having connections of fibrous liquid tissue. If bones do not exhibit any movement, hence it is immobile or fixed type of joint. Fibrous joints are further classified into three parts, sutures, thin desmosis, and warm pauses. But the sari content hai na, ye aapke board ke se to important hai hi. But those who want to pursue with uh, MBBS or physiotherapy, those who are heading for physiotherapy, these things are very, very crucial. Okay? So, recently one of my students had conducted a seminar on Sunday, I guess. Uh, Dr. May, he is in his second year MBBS now. He had conducted a small seminar to give a preview of what exactly uh, MBBS life is all about, including what is the syllabus for first year MBBS, how the exams are conducted, what is the question paper, uh, model question papers, which books to be referred, and uh, how to study first year MBBS, and all those things he had covered very good thing. He in the sense, he along with his, uh, you know, uh, friends and colleagues, I would say, they had conducted this seminar online on Zoom. It was so informative and it was so nice. So, of course, for you all also, this type of session, I'll request him to keep for you people as well. But it was very informative. Now, in that, he has clearly, you know, like he said that whatever in details, more the details that you do from neat preparation point of view, it becomes very easy a journey for your first year. So all these points which I'm going to discuss now, of course, they are important from your neat or board's point of view, but they'll be very, very helpful to you in your first year. Okay, so... This is the way, uh, you know, the classification of immovable joints has to be studied. What are the three things? Sutures, syndesmosis, and gomphosis. What exactly are these? Let us see. Sutures. It is composed of thin layer of dense fibrous connective tissue. It's a thin layer. We know that it is held by fibrous connective tissue. Okay. Sutures are places of growth. Sutures Yahapar. What do they mean? Places of growth. They remain open till the growth is complete. Okay. On completion of the growth, they tend to ossify. Means ossification is deposition of calcium. Correct? Sutures may permit some molding during childhood. Now I have already told you this particular point in the last class that so babies hote hai, unke yaha par mene bataya tha, soft ek ye dikhai deta hai hume. Hai na, you can actually see the this particular point moving up and down as the baby is breathing or crying or something like that. Do you remember I discussed this point? Yeah. So what do you mean? Here in the skull bone, skull bone is one of the examples of sutures in fact. So, skull bones may unke, chote bacho ke, there is going to be gaps present. I told you till the age of almost two, the gaps, you know, are very clearly seen. Eventually, by the age of five, the gaps are almost, you know, uh, in the world, you know, like they have started to ossify. And you remember I told you till the age of 18, they completely fuse together. Right? Correct? So, till the age of 18, jaha skull bones grow ho rahe hai na beta, unko hai sutures. So, what are sutures see? Places of growth. Right? Correct? Look at this. So, this is going to be a suture. Place of growth. Where eventually the growth will take place to completely make one unit of this skull. Okay? So, look over here. Can you see fibrous tissue? These are the two bones. On the beach, we do bones connect fibrous tissue. Right? 
So there are different types like butt to joint, which is square edged. Can you see? This is this type of joint is going to be called as butt to joint. Where is it present? See, two nasal bones. Two nasal bones ke beech mein ye butt to joint hota hai. Okay, scarf joint. हम लोग स्कार्फ कहाँ कहाँ पहनते हैं? Where do we, you know, generally wear a scarf? Correct, right? So it's going to be a tapering type of joint, and it's going to be present in various skull bones. Lap joint. Lap means overlapping. So here you can see two bones are overlapping, right? It's present between temporal and parietal bone. Serrated joint, irregular. सेरेटेड मार्जिन कहते हैं हम लोग इसको इंटरलॉकिंग होता है इससे वेरियस कल्प सो देर आर वेरियस टाइप ऑफ यू नो सूचर्स प्रेजेंट इन आर बॉडी विच आर गुड बी एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ सिन आर प्रोसेस दैट इज इमूवेबल जो है इन द डायग्राम इट लुक्स लाइक इट्स ब्रोकन यू टू एक्सीडेंट दे आर ट्राइंग टू शो यू द प्लेस ऑफ फाइबर्स ठीक है बेटा ये चार भी इम्पोर्टेंट है इसके ऊपर से एग्जाम्पल्स पूछे जाते हैं कैरेक्टर्स पूछे जाते हैं एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज दिस विल बी कंसिडर्ड एज आउट ऑफ स्कोप क्वेश्चन फॉर नीट बी कंसिडर्ड एज आउट ऑफ स्कोप क्वेश्चन या दे आर ओनली सीन इन चाइल्ड हुड यस वॉट इट बट स्टार लैप सेरी any difficulty in understanding any point clear all of you okay. the next is syndesmosis okay so even this is going to be a type of what even this is going to be a type of immovable joint okay let us see what it is Syndesmosis. It is present where there is greater distance between articulating bones. So when there is a lot of gap present between the two bones which are articulating, okay, that type of a joint will be called as syndesmosis. At such locations, fibrous connective tissue is arranged in a sheet or a bundle. Example: distal tibiofibular ligament. interosseous membrane between tibia and fibula and that between radius and ulna i i had told this when i had shown you uh, the skeleton i i remember showing you this that inke beech mein gap nahi hoti hai beta inke beech mein kya hota hai interosseous membrane hota hai hmm? so see this is the ulna this is the radius this is the interosseous ligament or the membrane as we call it Which is going to prevent any movement between radius and ulna. They cannot move at all. Okay, even between tibia and fibula, you remember interosseous ligament. Interosseous ligament. Correct, right? Yeah. So this is going to be an example of syndesmosis that is going to be uh, immovable. Okay. Then you have got gomphosis. Name se pata chalna chahiye actually. Gomphosis is associated with gums. So, in this type of joint, a cone-shaped bone fits into a socket provided by other bone. So, here you can see. You see, I've written about the gomphosis. Okay. Example: tooth and jaw bone. Very clear. You can see this. Right? ये bone है बेटा. ये वाला. हम्म. ये socket बना है. You can see the socket how it has been formed, and the tooth is fitting perfectly inside this socket. Those who are planning to go ahead with VDS, dental, okay. For them, ये तो मतलब basic चीज हो जाएगी. That the bone is going to form a socket, and the teeth is going to fit perfectly inside that particular socket. हमारा ये जो सुपरफिशियल व्हाइट कलर के टीप जो दिखते हैं दे आर सुपरफिशियल दे आर रूट्स एंड दे आर थ्री फोर्थ पार्ट इज गोइंग टू बी एम्बेडेड विद इन द बोन आई थिंक इन डाइजेशन चैप्टर वी हैव सीन द डेंटल फार्मूला एंड द डेंटल आर्ट इन डिटेल राइट या सो ऑल दीस थ्री आर गुड बी एग्जांपल्स ऑफ व्हाट 
syn arthrosis a movable joint fibrous connective tissue joint which are the three sutures syndesmosis bombosis any difficulty in understanding the first type of joint that is a movable joint anyone want follow anyone want to see the screen anything one more time all clear Let's come to the second one that is slightly movable joints. Okay, so slightly movable joints are also called as cartilaginous joints, but they're also called as amphiarthrosis. Yeah, yeah, bombosis yeah. only in the teeth associated with gums. Okay, well, so cartilaginous joints also called as amphiarthrosis. These joints are neither fixed nor freely movable. Articulating bones are held together by hyaline cartilage, or then fibrocartilage. They are further classified as uh, synchondrosis and symphysis. Yeah, what's your doubt, Peter? Sutures will be held uh, with the help of ligaments during the early age till they grow fully. Yes, 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 my dears. Perfect. Eventually, they get ossified. So let us see the two types of slightly movable joints, which are going to be synchondrosis. अब नाम से थोड़ा थोड़ा समझ में आना चाहिए. Chondro मतलब क्या? Osteo मतलब क्या? हाँ. Anyways, let us see in detail about this cartilaginous joints. Synchondrosis. What do you want me to explain, बेटा? Second point of this thing. They are slightly movable, so you cannot call them as immovable. You cannot call them as freely movable. They are going to show very slight movements, which will not be felt by us. Uh, that movement, or rather that uh, uh, you know activity of their movement, will not be felt by us. You will not realize that there is any uh, you know change taking place. Yes. Yes. Well, so look at this, my dear. The two bones are held together by hyaline cartilage. So after I complete this particular chapter, locomotion chapter, of course I'm going to go ahead with the chapter of tissues, animal tissues, in which you will come to know what exactly is hyaline cartilage, what is fibrous cartilage, everything I'll be you know doing in detail with you all. Anyway, so as of now, hyaline cartilage. Hyaline cartilage का मतलब होता है clear cartilage, glass-like. उसमें ना fibers है, उसमें ना कुछ ऐसे uh, uh, you know, uh, contamination is there. It appears to be very clear type of a cartilage. Okay, उसको हम कहते हैं glass like that is hyaline cartilage. So synchondrosis में the bones are going to be held together with the help of hyaline cartilage. Okay, they are again meant for growth. तो जैसे sutures were meant for growth, even the synchondrosis is meant for growth. On completion of the growth, the joint gets ossified. Example, epiphyseal plate found between epiphysis and diaphysis of long bone, rib and sternum junction, etc. Now, rib and sternum junction becomes very easy for you all to, you know, uh, make a picture in your mind. Correct? Easy हो जाता है. Rib किधर है तुम्हें पता है? Sternum किधर है तुम्हें पता है? तो इन दोनों के बीच में जो जैसे कि सी वेन यू ब्रीड ना योर रिप केज इज गोन टू बी ब्लो डाउन करेक्ट नाउ हाउ इज इट पॉसिबल फॉर द रिप केज टू एक्चुअली नो एक्सपांड इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द सिंपल प्रोसेस सो इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी इमूवेबल बट इट कैन नॉट बी फ्रीली मूवेबल ओके दिस बिकम वेरी सिंपल फॉर एस टू अंडरस्टैंड द एग्जाम्पल बट वॉट इज दिस एपी फाइनशियल प्लेट Found between the epiphysis and diaphysis of the long bone. So see in this diagram, they have shown it very nicely. So these are the long bones. You can see here they are showing the epiphysis. Here they are showing the diaphysis. And see, beta, all of you, especially I would say boys, when you were in school. 
maybe seventh standard, eighth standard, huh? Aapke photo dekhiyega. Six, seven standard ke aapke photo dekhiyega. Even girls for that matter, no issues. How were you all? Short the tum log? Bacche the. Hai na? Kya bolte tum log? Tab hum log bacche the. We are bade ho gaye. Bade ho gaye matlab kya ho gaya apda? Now look at your photographs. Now look at yourself in the mirror. You can actually see your height has grown. Your length of arms, length of legs, right? Your shoulders. Huh? You know? You all have grown. From where this growth take place? Growth hua, height bada. Kaise bada? Kya grow hua hai tumara, actually speaking? Your bones have become elongated, right? Your bones have become longer. Isile to aapki height badi hai. Correct? Right? So bones kaha se grow huye? From which point did they grow? So the bones will always grow. The long bones I'm talking about, right? The arms and the legs wale bones and your shoulder bones and all those, okay? They all are going to have a scope for extension in this region, which is going to be called as epiphyseal plates. You can see this blue region over here, right? So that particular growth is going to take place in a particular area where there was a gap before. Now, growth is going to take place in this zone to elongate your bones, right? Make them longer. And that helps in increasing your overall lengthwise structure. Correct now? Understood? So these points from where the actual growth of the bones is taking place is going to be called as epiphyseal plate, which was initially having a gap. Okay? So on completion of the growth, the joints gets ossified. Or you see here, ek bar ye, Ossification ho gaya, fir life mein kabhi bhi aapki height nahi badhne wali hai. That's for sure. Okay? Of course, what triggers this particular elongation of the growth? Which hormones are responsible? So do you remember in chemical coordination, we have seen something called as the hormone which is responsible for growth? Can you all recollect the name of that hormone? Very good. Yes, it is. GH, yes. So the growth hormone is responsible and you know that it is going to be activated at a particular age which is called as normally at puberty. This gets activated, right? So all these are interconnected, uh, you know, points in fact. But now you understood what is epiphyseal plates, Peter? The areas from where the long bones can actually elongate and give a length to your body is going to be called as epiphyseal. Yes, got it? Very good. So the first type of joint under slightly movable is synchondrosis. The second is synthesis, pubic synthesis. Very common word. After ossification, it has become a little less movable than, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, my dear. That is the reason, now. Then it is going to be, you know, if you've seen small children, their uh, structure is like highly flexible. Once ossification begins, it becomes difficult, right? Especially elderly people, senior citizens, I would say, I won't say old, baba, gusata, old, old, old. So the senior citizens generally, you know, uh, they have a problem with uh, joints, if pain, you know? Pain in the joint is a normal thing that is heard about in senior citizens. It is because of ossification. We are going to talk about the uh, disorders associated with bones, of course, and cartilages. Okay. So, in synthesis, in this type of joint, broad, flat disc of fibrocartilage connects the two bones. Now, in synthesis, what is happening? See? A disc of fibrocartilage. So fibrous and cartilaginous joints show. Ikathate, we call them as fibrocartilage. Hmm? Connects the two bones. 
वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस जॉइंट इज इंटर वर्टेबल डिस्क सी जब तुम वेन यू फील वेरी लेजी एंड यू वॉन्ट टू स्ट्रेच यूर बॉडी सो वेन यू ट्राई टू स्ट्रेच यूर बॉडी वेर यू पुट यूर एंटायर फोर्स ऑन योर वर्टेबल कॉलम और वेन यू बेंड डाउन एंड वेन यू गेट अप is that movement easy for you right why because of the synthesis so there are going to be you know uh, disc present jisko maine last time aapko bataya tha slip disc karke ek disorder maine aapke sath discuss ki thi so it is the synthesis which is going to allow this particular movement little bit possible okay fine ossification stops after a certain age no it will continue Of course, they are going to continue. But what happens eventually if there is less of calcium in the body, then that particular person will start losing the calcium from the bones, causing holes in the bones, which is called as osteoporosis. आगे देने वाले हम लोग आज. Yeah, after we stretch after a long time and hear a crack from the vertebral column, yeah, yeah, that is what that cracking of the vertebral column is. That thing that these joints, you know, they get pulled and they come back to normal. Okay, got it. Any difficulty, beta? Two types of slightly movable joints: synchondrosis, symphysis. Three types of immovable joints: sutures. Remember, then, which was the second one? Sutures. के बाद कौन सा था? Immovable वाला. चलो बोलो. बोलो बोलो बोलो. Try to recollect. Three types of immovable joints. My first था sutures. Second कौन सा था? Sutures मैंने skull के लिए बताया था. Second one was. Second one, second one. One was sutures. जैसे यहाँ पर दो है synchondrosis and symphysis. वहाँ पर syn क्या था? Forgot the names. Sutures, gomphosis of course, and एक सिन था सिन डेस्मोसिस ओके डोंट फॉरगेट सूचर्स सिन डेस्मोसिस एंड कॉम्फोसिस फॉर द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ जॉइंट्स व्हिच वर इमूवेबल सिन कॉन्ड्रोसिस एंड सिम्फेसिस आर द टू स्लाइटली मूवेबल ठीक है आई नो ये सिन सिन से थोड़ा सा माइंड में सिनिकल हो जाते हो तुम लोग But it's okay, huh? Simple here. Is it okay? So till now we have done five in detail. Ah, uh, if we hear a vertebral column crack for a long time, is it bad for the vertebral column? No, no, no. Nothing is bad. Okay, it's like just giving a little bit of you know exercise. So when you sit for a long time, you do like this way. You do like this way. Here, right? you stretch yourself. There's nothing wrong in it. Fine, got it. Can I move to the last one? That is freely movable. ठीक है? चल, let's go to the last one, which is going to be freely movable joints. Synovial joints or freely movable joints or diarthrosis, as we call them as. It is characterized by the presence of a space called as synovial cavity. Between articulating bones that renders free movement at the joint. So here you can see, beta, ये दो bones है, ये ऊपर वाला है, ये दूसरा नीचे वाला bone है. ये दो bones के बीच में यहाँ पर आपको एक space दिखाई दे रही है. Correct? So between the two bones, between the two articulating bones, there is going to be a space. This space is going to be called as synovial cavity. okay and because of this cavity because of this space between the two bones the movement is free so these two typical joints are going to be called as free movable joints so see articulating surfaces of bones at the synovial joint are covered by a layer of hyaline cartilage so dono ke upar beta dono articulating bones ke upar kya hota hai hyaline cartilage hota hai Hmm? It reduces friction during movement and helps to absorb shock. Synovial cavity is lined by synovial membrane that forms synovial capsule. 
सो इसको है ना बेटा इफ यू लुक एट दिस पर्टिकुलर डायग्राम यू कैन वेरी वेल सी जस्ट मूव माय सेल्फ अ लिटिल बिट अप या यू कैन सी ओवर योर माय व्यूज सो दिस इज द आउटसाइड से लिगामेंट है यू कैन सी साइनोवियल कैविटी व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी फिल्ड विद व्हाट साइनोवियल फ्लूइड इट्स अ लिक्विड साइनोवियल फ्लूइड आर्टिकुलेटिंग कार्टिलेज यू कैन सी ओवर योर दिस ब्लू पार्ट ऊपर भी दिखाई दे रहा है ये शीट ब्लू कलर का नीचे भी दिखाई दे रहा है आर्टिकुलेटिंग कार्टिलेज राइट हाइलिन कार्टिलेज यू कैन सी दिस पर्टिकुलर व्हाइट कलर का लेयर व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज फाइब्रस लेयर करेक्ट एंड दिस एंटायर शेप एक टिपिकल बटरफ्लाई शेप बना हुआ दिखाई दे रहा है यहां पर ये जो शेप है ये पूरा मतलब व्हाट दी हाइलिन कार्टिलेज अलोंग विथ दी साइनोवियल कैविटी फिल विद साइनोवियल फ्लूड विल बी कॉल्ड एज वॉट कैप्स्यूल ठीक है तो ये दो बोन्स के बीच में ये कैप्स्यूल होती ही है ऑल फ्री मूवेबल ज्वाइंट्स आर कैरेक्टराइज बाय द प्रेजेंस ऑफ दिस हाइलिन कार्टिलेज से बना हुआ कैप्स्यूल Yes, brother. Yes, Tanak. Yes, my dear. You are right. Right. So this is a very important point to be remembered that uh, the freely movable joints are freely movable due to the presence of the capsule, which is going to be made up of hyaline cartilage. Okay, containing synovial fluid. All of you all have understood this. ये diagram समझ में आया बेटा? Who secretes synovial fluid? So the synovial membrane secretes synovial fluid. ठीक है? Clear? Very very clear. This is very important because as I said, these are the movements that will be felt by us. So ये बहुत important वाला point. Let us see. classification of diarthrosis on the top of the yeah 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 yes yes who me right but yes okay synovial fluid is clear viscous straw colored fluid similar to limbs it is viscous due to hyaluronic acid you know what is viscous now a little bit sticky and thick then water okay fluid also contains nutrients mucus phagocytic cells to remove microbes synovial fluid lubricates the joints absorbs shocks nourishes the hyaline cartilage removes waste materials from the hyaline cartilage cells phagocytic cells destroy microbes and cellular debris form by wear and tear of the joint so this particular question in your exam sports right is you know like going to be asked for two marks what is the role of synovial fluid ya fir explain the functions of synovial fluid ya fir write a note on synovial fluid so you are ought to write down all these points in your answers which will give you two marks hmm okay if the joint is immobile for a while the synovial fluid becomes viscous and as the joint movement starts it becomes less viscous so when it becomes viscous na then you feel that tingling sensation in that area i don't know if you have experienced this if you sit cross legged for a very long time then uh, we say ki cheeti bhar gayi hai pair mein hai na yes the legs become numb we say that ants are running in my feet marathi may be called as moongya alya simple language hai okay, na to ye jo teeche cheeti bhar jati hai na legs mein it is because of this this is nothing cheeti bitti kuch nahi hoti hai no ants no moongya nothing it is just the synovial fluid that has become more viscous because you are sitting in a position locked for many hours probably so when you start with the movement again it will become normal okay so that is because of this synovial fluid wait well, 
The joint is provided with capsular ligament and numerous accessory ligaments. The fibrous capsule is attached to periosteum of the articulating bones. Of course, so bones ke saath jo ligament hai, bone ke upar jo covering hai, that is periosteum. So this capsule will be in connection with the periosteum of the bone. The ligament helps in avoiding dislocation of the joint. Yes. So the ligaments, jo sides se hai na, ye ligaments humne dekhe na, ye dekho, ye white color ke jo ligaments hai, it will keep the bones in place. Okay. It will prevent it from dislocation. But sometimes, our bones dislocate. If something accident or types So it's very painful na, that time. We say that it has got dislocated. Fracture me hai, but dislocation. Hai. But that dislocation also is not painful. Hai na. It becomes very difficult. Right? Ah, yes. Yes, yes. Ligament tear bhi ho jata hai kabhi kabhi. Even that is very painful. Okay? Yeah. We are going to talk about all the examples of synovial joints. Not only examples. Details of this. Okay? Break our finger bones when we are cracking something bad for our finger bones. Yeah. This thing that we do, na? It's not bad, I would say. But what happens? The ligaments eventually becomes, you know, they may lose their flexibility. Easily, it is nothing to go with the bones. Bones are not going to be affected if you break your fingers. It's not bad for the bones of the fingers, but yeah, the ligaments which are surrounding that particular joint, na, it may lose its flexibility. That is a possibility eventually. So do not do it, is what it said. Yeah, crack knuckles. Okay. Well. Yeah, you know what people it's one, of course. Yeah. Let us see the examples of uh, the synovial joints, okay? In long terms, uh, it becomes difficult for, uh, you know, the, 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 the fingers to have grips. Grip ni pakadne ko hoti hai. Kuch bhi pakadne ke liye jayenge to slip hota hai because wo uh, strength hi nahi hai ligaments mein. Ye, uski flexibility chali gai, just like your rubber. ये जो आप ये यूज़ करते हो ना रबर बैंड्स यूज़ करते हो ना कुछ बांधने के लिए टाइ करने के लिए इनिशियली फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम व्हेन यू आर यूजिंग इट इट्स गोइंग टू हैव अ वेरी गुड इलास्टिसिटी बट व्हेन यू रीयूज़ 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 द सेम व्हाट हैपेंस इट लूजेस द इलास्टिसिटी समथिंग लाइक दैट एग्जैक्टली लाइक दैट ओके गॉट इट वेल सो लेट अस लुक एट द एग्जांपल्स ऑफ दिस साइनोवियल जॉइंट्स First, fiber joint, which we have already seen. Here, the rounded or pointed surface of the bone, which we have seen. Here, the rounded or the pointed surface of the bone articulates with a ring formed partly, partly by another bone and partly by the ligament. Here, we have seen this in atlas and axis, if you remember, last class. है ना ये देख ये ओरोंटोइड प्रोसेस है अपने एक्सिस का एक्सिस वर्टिब्रे का दिस ऊपर वाला जो है दिस इज़ मोरी बी दी एटलस ये दो ऑसिपेटल कॉन्डाइस के लिए फैसेट्स हैं यू रिमेम्बर दिस दिस इज़ योर लिगमेंट राइट एंड द ओरोंटोइड प्रोसेस इस प्रोजेक्टिंग अपवर्ड्स ओवर योर राइट करेक्ट � Fiber joint. Fine. Rotation only around its own longitudinal axis is possible. Example, in the joint between atlas and axis vertebrae, the head turns sideways to form the no joint. You remember no joint and yes joint we had seen? Yes joint was between the occipital condyles and the atlas. And the no joint was between atlas and axis. Okay. Right? So this particular action, no joint is possible because of this fiber joint. And ye jo hum move karte hain humari neck. Aapne dekha hoga kabhi kabhi agar aap usko stretch karoge to idhar se bhi cracking noise aata hai kabhi kabhi. Dekha aapne? Haan. Okay. So here also the same synovial joint is going to be present between the atlas and the axis which helps us for this no joint to take place. 
So what is the example? First example of synovial joint, fiber joint. Yeah, after hours of no movement. Na? Yeah, sometimes like you will study if you are studying. For a very long time, agar aise mundi niche karke baithe ho, fir after some time you feel hari, my neck has started, my back has started praying and then you start stretching your neck and back and you get that crackling noise. Okay? Yes. So the first one is going to be, the example is going to be what? Fiber joint. Hmm? Present between atlas and axis. Please remember, which is going to make your no joint. No joint matlab? Moving your head in that no fashion. Second is ball and socket joint. Ball like surface of one bone fits into a cup like surface of another bone, forming a movable joint. Multi axial movement is possible. Multi axial matlab, you can, you know, move that particular joint. Ke se, that thing can be, you know, like bones can be moved in any, uh, uh, any direction. The way I showed my shoulder just now. So, my shoulder ko upar bhi kiya, niche kiya. आगे किया पीछे किया मैं गोल भी घुमा सकती हूं आप लोगों ने कभी पीटी के एक्सरसाइज किए क्या स्कूल में हैव यू ऑल डन द पीटी एक्सरसाइजेस सो इन पीटी एक्सरसाइज यू माइट हैव डन ऑल दीस थिंग्स ना करेक्ट या सो दिस टाइप ऑफ जॉइंट अलाउज मूवमेंट्स अलोंग ऑल थ्री एक्सिस एंड इन ऑल डायरेक्शन एग्जांपल शोल्डर जॉइंट एंड द हिप जॉइंट सो इवन योर लेग कैन बी मूव्ड हिप जॉइंट मतलब कौन सा Hip cannot be moved in one direction. Hip joint. So your leg. Like I have now my arm, my back, up and down. You even you can move your leg. People can dance because of that only. Huh? Yeah. Even walk. Well, so that is going to be your ball and socket joint. So you can see the neck of the femur. This is going to be the pelvis. This is the cartilage, head of the femur. Huh? And here you can see this. Synovial cavity very clearly. Correct? This is called as your ball and socket joint. Ligaments, ligaments. Yes, yes. Bones will not break. The crackling joint sound is the form of the ligaments being stretched and the bones uh, are going to be in place. Nothing will happen to bones. Okay. So multi axial movement is possible because of which joint? A very famous question in your examinations. So multi axial movement is possible because of the ball and socket joint. The example of ball and socket joint, shoulder joint, hip joint. Remember these things, huh? Hinge joint. Hinge means what, beta? You can move a particular bone in only one direction, not in the opposite. Okay? In hinge joint, convex surface of one bone fits into the concave surface of the articulating other bone. So here you can see very clearly in this diagram, this is the concave surface. This is the convex of this bone. This is the concave of the other bone. So the convex and the concave are fitting perfectly into each other with a synovial cavity over here. Right? This is what we Joint capsule with synovial flow. Okay? In most hinge joints, one bone remains stationary and the other moves. Look at your elbow, even your elbow joint. So, this one remains stationary. Who moves? The radius alna wala joint jo hai, ye, ye move hota hai. Hmm? Angular opening and closing motion like that of the hinge is possible. In this joint, only monoaxial movement takes place like flexion and extension. We have seen all of these. Right? So, flexion extension takes place because of the hinge joint. Example, elbow and knee joint. Now here, can you move your arm downwards? I say, is ko ulta kar sakte, okay? Karne ki koshish bhi mat karna. Khattar naak mala dard okay? Pain ho jayega over. Swelling a jayega. So, movement only in one direction. That for hinge. Dekho aapka door, dekho. Aapke sabke ghar pe Bell basti hai. So, door kaise bhi open hota hai kya? Bahar ke taraf bhi, andar ke taraf bhi. Or will it open only in one direction? How is it? In my house, it opens only in one direction. What about you all? Door will open in one direction or in both the directions? One direction, na? Why does it open only in one direction? Mere ghar pe, it will open inwards. 
आपके घर पे किधर खुलता है डोर इन वर्ड्स ना एग्जैक्टली इन वर्ड्स राइट यस नाउ व्हाई इन वर्ड्स बेटा बिकॉज़ इट इज अ हिंज प्रेजेंट एट द एज लुक एट योर डोर्स आफ्टर द लेक्चर नहीं तो लुक एट योर डोर्स बोलते ही भाग के चले जाओगे डोर के पास उतना ही टाइम पास पांच मिनट के लिए मैम आपने ही बोला था लुक एट योर हिंज जॉइंट ऑफ द डोर करके या सेफ्टी डोर विल मूव आउटवर्ड्स एग्जैक्टली व्हाई डज इट मूव आउटवर्ड एंड नॉट इनवर्ड बट ऑलवेज इन वन डिरेक्शन है बेटा इधर इनवर्ड और आउटवर्ड सेफ्टी डोर बाहर की तरफ खुलता है मेरा भी सेफ्टी डोर बाहर की तरफ खुलता है एंड मेन डोर इनवर्ड्स खुलता है एग्जैक्टली बट ओनली इन वन डिरेक्शन Yes, it is because of the presence of the hinge present in that particular joint. So, if you look at your doors, there is going to be a wooden frame or a metal frame or something like that way, to which there is going to be the connection of the hinge and the door. And the location of the hinge will precisely make the door open either inwards or outwards, but not in both the directions. In the same way, this hinge joint is present between the two bones, which will allow only monoaxial movement. ये लेग की मूवमेंट आई कैन नॉट शो विथ माई आई आई कॉन्ट शो माई लेग इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू राइट इसलिए मैं हाथ से करा लू बट हाथ के मूवमेंट अलग है सो हिंज जॉइंट इज बी प्रेजेंट वे एल्बो एंड नी बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल नी नी जॉइंट आप आपका पैर ऐसे पीछे लेके जा सकते हो यू कैन ड्रिंग इट अप बट यू कैन नॉट मेक इट लाइक दिस वे ना इज इट पॉसिबल दो पैर ऐसे ऊपर ऐसे आगे ऐसा पॉसिबल है क्या नेवर राइट सो प्लीज रिमेम्बर अबाउट द हिंज जॉइंट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो पाइवेट जॉइंट बॉल एंड सॉकेट जॉइंट हिंज जॉइंट थ्री एग्जाम्पल्स वी हैव सीन ऑफ साइनोवियल जॉइंट और फ्रीली मूवेबल जॉइंट स्टिल ना नेक्स्ट इज कॉन्टेलॉयड जॉइंट अब इसमें कैसा है ना बेटा थोड़ा सा ऊपर आ गए तो जो भी एक्चुअली भी लाइक वेरी ऑड ना या अब ये कॉन्डेलॉइड जॉइंट और इसके बाद वाला एक सैडल जॉइंट करके है इनमें बहुत बार बच्चे थोड़ा कंफ्यूज हो जाते हैं इट्स वेरी सिंपल डोंट वरी जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक थिंग्स ओके कॉन्डेलॉइड जॉइंट इट इज एन एलिप्सॉइड जॉइंट वट यू मीन मै एलिप्सॉइड द शेप इज एलिप्सॉइडियल इन नेचर ओके द कॉन्वेक्स oval shape projection of one bone fits into the oval shaped depression in another bone okay so this is something that you have to precisely understand both are oval shaped beta and still they are fitting perfectly into each other it is a biaxial joint because it permits movement along two axes flexion extension abduction and adduction as well as circumcision is going to be possible example metacarpopharyngeal joint see what is metacarpal where are they present metacarpal you word aapne suna hai where are they present tell me ha correct right yes and where are carpals present कार्पल्स कहाँ होते हैं कैन यू ऑल टेल मी वेस्ट रीजन वेरी करेक्ट वेरी करेक्ट करेक्ट ये सो कार्पल्स आर गोइंग अरे सी ए आर पी एल नहीं सी ए आर पी ए एल वो कार्पल है ये कार्पल है ओके सो ये जो कार्पल्स होते हैं दे आर गोट बी प्रेजेंट इन द रेस्ट रीजन आई टोल यू देर आर एट इन नंबर डू यू रिमेम्बर Eight bones make up the wrist, हाँ? Four ऊपर के, four नीचे के मैंने आपको दिखाए थे ना? Eight, हाँ. So radius and alna, you can see over here ये अपना radius and alna है, which are forming a joint with the wrist. ये वाला portion बेटा अपना, this portion. So ये radius मैंने आपको कुछ बताया था, radius and alna के बारे में. One with the Thumb, one with the little finger. You remember who is with whom? This one is which one? Radius hai ya alna hai ye wala. Thumb ke pas wala. Come on, I want answers. 
I told you a trick to remember. The thumb will be lying towards which bone? Radius ke taraf rahega ye ki alna ke taraf. And the small finger apna hai, little finger jo hai, wo kidar hai? Thumb ke paas radius, little finger ke saath alna. Correct. Correct. Yes. Correct. Okay. So ye radius hai, ye alna hai. And these are going to be connected with my wrist. So ye jo wrist ke mere bones hai, in ke saath, मेरा कैसा हो रहा है एक्शन देखो आई कैन मूव माय रिस्ट इन विच पोजिशन फ्लेक्शन एक्सटेंशन एडक्शन एबडक्शन एंड सरकमसिशन करेक्ट ना अंडरस्टूड सो दिस पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ जॉइंट विल बी कॉल्ड एज माय कॉन्डलॉइड जॉइंट बट देयर इज अ वेरी बिग बट सैडल जॉइंट भी इधर होता है नाउ कहां कैसे होता है वो देखना है हमें Okay, so let us see both together. Compare both together, so it will become very easy for you all to remember it. Gliding joint, saddle joint, and this one, condylar joint. ये बहुत similar similar लगते हैं. Okay, a planar joint where articulating surfaces of bones are flat or slightly curved. These joints are non-axial because motion they allow does not occur along an axis or a plane. एग्जाम्पल इंटर कार्पिल एंड इंटर टार्सल कार्पिल मतलब ये वाला राइट दिस पाम पाम रीजन में जो आपके बोन्स है टाइट राइट अचिंग योर पाम बोन्स कमॉन यू कैन फील द बोन्स कैन यू फील द बोन्स हाँ राइट दिस इज गुड बी शोइंग ग्लाइडिंग जॉइंट बट ग्लाइडिंग जॉइंट मतलब क्या कमॉन Bring your fingers close. जब आप आपका palm करीब लाते हो, when you bring it closer to yourself, what happens? These joints are just gliding over each other. You understand what is happening? Clear हुआ? तो या they slide over each other. So now this is my stretched palm, right? If I make it like this way, forget about my finger का movement. Look at my palm. The palm which is stretched. If I try to fold my fingers, क्या हो रहा है मेरा palm? है ना? Condense हो रहा है. How? So these particular palm के जो मेरे carpels हैं, तो उनके बीच में जो spaces हैं, inter carpels हैं, they will just glide over each other. So that is going to be called as gliding joint, which is going to be non-axial. You cannot feel it. You cannot feel that. जैसे कि अगर अगर मेरा wrist है, तो you can see flexion, extension दिखाई दे रहा है, abductor, adductor दिखाई दे रहा है, circumcision दिखाई दे रहा है. You can see, but you cannot see the intercarpals to move. So these type are going to be your gliding joints. Did you all understand the difference? What is a gliding joint and where is it present? Hmm. Now let's go ahead with the saddle joint, which I was talking about. Which generally is going to get confused between saddle and condyloids. Okay, let us see the difference. See, this joint is a characteristic of Homo sapiens alone. Here, articulating surface of one bone is saddle shape, and the other bone. Fits into such saddle as a sitting rider would sit. That is, both the bones or each of the bones has a concave and convex surface. You know what is a saddle? Saddle क्या होता है पता है बट आपको? On the horse, there is a seat on which the rider sits. Yeah. So that particular seat has got a peculiar shape. That particular shape is called a saddle. So that particular shaped seat, which is kept on the horse, on which the rider would fit perfectly, that is going to be called as what a saddle. So here we have got the saddle joints. So the shape of the bone is going to be like a saddle. So articulating surface of one bone is saddle shape, and that of the other bone fits into a saddle as sitting of a rider on the. Saddle back of the horse. Okay, it is a modified condyloid joint in which 
movement is somewhat more free. Okay, so ये देखो ये saddle का shape यहाँ पर उन्होंने दिया है. You can see this, see, which fits perfectly into each other. Okay. It is a biaxial joint that allows flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, and circumduction. Carpo metacarpillary joint means between the carpel and the metacarpal, between trapezium carpal and metacarpal of the thumb. So, ये वाला जो है, this is the carpal, this is the metacarpal. तो इनके बीच के जो ये joint है ना It is going to be your saddle joint. Either hai condyloid joint. See, these are the radius and ulna. So here we have got the condyloid joint, and here we have got the saddle joint. So did you understand? Very minute difference. So here, condyloid. Here, saddle. Clear? Where is saddle and where is condyloid? Any difficulty? Any difficulty, beta? No confusion now. Third point, it's a modified condylar joint in which the movement is somewhat more free. So this is a condylar joint, and others it's going to be the entire one is a condylar joint. But here in the uh, region near the radius and ulna, it's a proper condylar joint, and here it's a modified part because the movement becomes more simple. See, as I say, we are the ones who can, you know, extend. Our wrist region, you can move it in any direction, the way you want it. So it becomes easier for us. It's not going to be seen in other animals. It's for Homo sapiens. Yeah, hardly, hardly a centimeter away. Yeah, very close to each other. Very close to each other. Okay. So saddle joint is considered as a modified condyloid joint because of more freeness in the movement of our wrist. Got it now? Anyone who has got any difficulty in uh, understanding these two points, condyloid joint and saddle joint, clear? So we have seen how many joints till now before we go to the disorders, beta. Synovial joint के हमने कितने देखे? याद करो, fibre joint, हम्म? Ball and socket joint. Aya na. Third was what? I gave you two. Come on, give me others. Hinge. Third was hinge. Hmm. Condyloid. Gliding. Stand. Okay. So six we have seen for freely movable. Three we had seen for immovable. You remember immovable joint, sutures, syndesmosis, gomphosis. Slightly movable two, synchondrosis, and symphysis. Hmm? Freely movable six, which were Just now I said all six. Come on. First one was pivot, ball and socket, hinge, condyloid, gliding, saddle. Okay now. So three plus two, five plus six, eleven. Totally, we have seen eleven different examples of the different types of. Joints present in our body. So, anyone who has any confusion regarding anything that we have done till now, come on, tell me, please. Good. All okay. Now, here we have to. Do two things to understand this particular disorders. First part is going to be disorders related to muscles, because even muscles are a part of your locomotion. 
and the second are going to be disorders related to bones so muscle ke disorders and bones ke disorders do alag alag part mein isko maine divide kiya hai theek hai that confusion now first disorders related to muscles first is muscular dystrophy it's so a gradual vasting disease affecting various groups of muscle vasting ka matlab hota hai धीरे धीरे डिमिनिश हो जाते हैं वो ओके दे स्टार्ट फेडिंग अवे उसको हम कहते हैं वास्टिंग डिजीज ओके दीज आर जेनेटिकली इनहेरिटेड इन फैमिलीज सो वेन आई बी टीचिंग जेनेटिक्स टू यू ऑल दैट टाइम यू विल कम टू नो दैट हाउ मस्क्यूलर डिस्ट्रॉफी इज वॉट टाइप ऑफ जेनेटिक डिजॉर्डर बट इट्स जेनेटिक डिजॉर्डर ओके यूजली द वॉलेंट्री कैल्ट्रल मसल्स आर वीकेंड whereas internal muscles such as diaphragm are not affected that means involuntary muscles are not going to be affected the problem is going to be seen with the voluntary muscles okay duchenne type of muscular dystrophy usually occurs in boys affecting the lower limbs limb girdle muscular dystrophy affects the muscles of shoulders or hips and it usually starts in adults by the age of 20 to 35 so till that time no symptoms are seen of this muscular dystrophy nothing okay no treatment appears to cure the disease because it's a genetic disorder you cannot change the genes so you have to live with it okay that is muscular dystrophy actually speaking you know what happens in this is the muscles become so weak that they do not have the capacity or they do not have the force to generate uh, and uh, lift the bones for the movement so uh, the person is not in the capacity to show any uh, you know any type of movement only so bones ko stretch uh, bones ko uh, pull karne ki capacity nahi rehti hai muscles mein so agar bones pull hi nahi honge तो मूवमेंट कैसे होगी बेटा नॉट पॉसिबल राइट सो दैट इज मस्क्यूलर डिस्ट्रॉफी एंड इन दिस द प्रॉब्लम इज यू नो लाइक पर्सन हु इज सफरिंग दिस इज नॉट अवेयर दैट ही इज और शी इज गो हैव दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम टिल द एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी फाइव सो फ्रॉम द एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी फाइव के बीच में साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स विल बी स्टार्टेड टू सी and eventually it will develop and the person will be completely handicapped over a period of time okay but of course it is inherited that is in the family this particular disorder is there okay but let us see that if can it be detected early or not can it be predicted early or not in the chapter of genetics okay yeah it is as good as being paralyzed yes it is actually like you know no movement at all second is myasthenia gravis that is also a muscular disorder it is the weakness of the skeletal muscles it is caused by an abnormality at the neuromuscular junction that partially blocks contraction see even that was weakening of the muscles even this is weakening of the muscles but that is going to be associated with what genetic disorder this is going to be associated with what autoimmune disorder okay now what is autoimmunity i'll explain of course so it is an abnormality associated with autoimmunity and not with genetic so myasthenia gravis is not going to be seen as a family disorder it's not in the family okay got it so see what happens it is uh, it is caused by an abnormality at the neuromuscular junction that partially prevents the contraction to occur hmm? it is an autoimmune disease caused by an excess of certain antibodies in the blood stream autoimmune autoimmune ka matlab kya hota hai beta our own body cells will be recognized as foreign particles or antigens to our immune system and what is our immune system speciality whenever it feels ye dushman hai ye antigen hai ye uh, alien hai jo hamare 
अंदर आ गया है उसके अगेंस्ट क्या करो टेक आउट ऑल द पॉसिबल मेथड्स टू डिस्ट्रॉय दैट एंटीजन सो व्हाट हैपेंस इन दिस ऑटो इम्यूनिटी आर ओन सेल्स अपीयर foreign to our system and so our immune system will start destroying our own cells and this is what has happened actually our own cells are not foreign they are a part of our immune system they are a part of our body but our immune system feels it is an alien person isko destroy karna so that causes myasthenia gravis that causes myasthenia gravis okay Got it? So it is an autoimmune disorder caused by excess of certain antibodies in the bloodstream. Antibodies bind to acetylcholine receptors of the neuromuscular junction. We know this already. Thus, transmission of nerve impulses to the muscle fiber is blocked. Understood how the muscle fibers are now not going to allow contraction. This causes progressive and extensive muscle weakness. it may affect the eye and the eyelid movement facial expressions swallowing everything will be you know like difficult to move the degree of muscle weakness varies from local to general examples of symptoms are tosses that is double vision okay difficulty in swallowing chewing speech all wherever there is movement required na everything will be for contraction and uh, relaxation is required everything will be at stay matlab kya hota hai that person sees ki uske haath ke upar ek mosquito baitha hai but to move his other hand and kill it nahi kar pata hai okay got it it's so you know like difficult so that is associated with uh, your muscular disorders okay muscular dystrophy and myasthenia gravis what leads to these diseases what leads means i didn't get your answer question beta muscular problems hai autoimmunity and genetically inherited uh, genes so it is a genetic disorder muscular dystrophy and this is what i mean there is no you know like no 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 nothing specific like specific cause for muscular dystrophy of course is going to be the genes and myasthenia gravis is like you know sometimes like some some of the individuals the immune system is going to be uh, you know uh, not able to recognize between self and non self So it happens. As a lot more, it happens. Not only this one. There are so many autoimmune diseases like arthritis. Arthritis, which is, it is also it is bones. I am going to talk about it. See, arthritis. It is one of the arthritis that is rheumatoid arthritis is going to be your same autoimmune disease. So the the cells are, of the body are not recognized as their own. Okay. arthritis related to bones now it is an inflammation of the joints it is a painful disorder of the bones ligaments tendons etc in this disorder joints become swollen stiff and painful it can lead to disability you if you have got you know senior citizens in your house or your neighbors or some you know a common complaint that is seen is दर्द होता है जॉइंट्स में सुन रहे हैं आपने यस दैट इज गोइंग टू बी दिस आर्थराइटिस जनरली इट इज ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स फर्स्ट या एग्जैक्टली बेटा फर्स्ट ऑस्टियोआर्थराइटिस थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ आर्थराइटिस आ देना ना सी नाउ दोस हु आर यू नो थिंकिंग ऑफ बिकमिंग डॉक्टर्स दिस टाइप ऑफ डिटेलिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड so osteoarthritis in this joint cartilage is degenerated it is caused by various factors like aging obesity muscle weakness etc the most common type of arthritis is this one which affects the hands knees and the spine 
ओके तो इनका जो कार्टलेज होता है ना जॉइंट के यहाँ पर वो डीजेनरेट होने को स्टार्ट होता है सो वट लैपिंग इफ द कार्टेज इज गॉन्ट टू गेट यू नो इरोडेड the two bones will directly come in contact with each other and friction will take place pain swelling huh it's a very common type osteoarthritis is very common and indians are so like famous for it second is gouty arthritis in this disorder joint pain occurs due to deposition of uric acid in the joints so see Uric acid needs to be eliminated in excretion and osmoregulation chapter. We have already studied that these are toxic. These needs to be removed from our body. But if this uric acid is going to be, you know, produced in excess, it will get deposited between the joints and it will cause pain. If uric acid is produced in excess or is not excreted, it accumulates in the joints as sodium urate crystals. okay and degenerates the cartilage erode karega cartilage ke sath friction ho ho ke kya ho jayega pura ghis jayega wo okay causing inflammation and pain it generally affects joints of the feet see uric acid is generally formed in large amounts in people who are uh, you know consuming a lot of alcohol so in their blood uric acid formation is very rapid and if it's going to be rapid and in excess then the kidneys are not sufficient to excrete out those or throw out those uric acids so then those uric acids will get converted into crystals of sodium urate and it will actually you know go and settle in the joints and they'll erode the cartilage usko aisa ghis dalega pura okay so the way we uh, you know grate the carrots you have seen grating of carrots similarly na literally grating of this cartilage is would take place it will be so painful imagine right that's your gouty arthritis third is rheumatoid arthritis the one which i was talking about it is an autoimmune disorder again where the body's immune system attacks its own tissues in rheumatoid arthritis synovial membrane swells up it starts secreting extra synovial fluid why will it start secreting more synovial fluid why will it secrete can you all tell me why the synovial membrane will start making more synovial fluid synovial fluid you remember what is the content of it and what is the role of it it's phagocytic in nature so it will be produced in excess to eat away to destroy to phagocyte the foreign particles are baba lekin ye foreign particles hai hi nahi ye to apne khud ke cells hai lekin wo pehchan nahi pata hai usko kya lagta hai ye sare cells jo hai ye alien hai so it will produce more of synovial fluid so that more of phagocytosis can take place but actually it is actually becoming the condition is becoming uh, bad to worse correct so that is the way it's going to make more synovial fluid more the synovial fluid is going to make there will be more pressure exerted on the bones see this fluid exerts pressure on the joints and makes it very very painful membrane may develop abnormal granulation tissues which is going to be called as pannus Pannus may erode the cartilage, just like urate, sodium urate. How does it erode it? Right? Like that, the the pannus will also erode the cartilage. Okay, fibrous tissue gets ossified, and it may lead to stiffness in the joints and causing tremendous pain. So all three are arthritis only, but but all three are you know like formed or caused because of three different reasons. so osteoarthritis gouty arthritis and rheumatoid arthritis all three understood <laughs> yeah yeah actually the immune system is not able to you know like recognize only between self and non self na isliye ye hota hai problem now why it is not capable of uh, you know finding out that self and non self make you difference nahi kar pata hai 
है ना ये ये जो क्वेश्चन है ना उसके लिए देर आर समथिंग कॉल्ड रिसेप्टर्स प्रेजेंट ऑन सर्टन सेल्स व्हिच विल डू इट इवेंचुअली इन योर सेकंड ईयर ऑफ मेडिकल स्टडीज राइट नाउ नो नो देयर इज अ रीजन फॉर इट ऑफ कोर्स मार्कर्स या रिसेप्टर्स कहते हैं हम उसको बट टुडे इट्स ओके यू जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दिस वर्ड यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द वर्ड पैनस ऑल टुगेदर बिकॉज़ पैनस ये वर्ड आपके बुक्स में नहीं है एंड क्वेश्चंस हैव बीन आस्क्ड अर्लियर आल्सो ऑन पैनस clear can i move ahead well, then we come to the word called as osteoporosis in this disorder bones become porous and hence brittle so i told you na they become that there are holes that are going to be formed in the bones which is osteoporosis so osteoarthritis is different Osteoporosis is different. Por porosis means porous हो जाता है बोन. Hmm? It is primarily age-related disease, more common in women than men. As age advances, bone reabsorption outspaces bone formation. Hence, bones lose mass and become brittle. So we have already seen in chemical coordination chapter. There are two. hormones which are balancing the calcium levels of the blood do you remember the name of those two hormones yaad hai ek maine cycle batayi thi aapko very good rish who is this hirisha yes my dear you're perfectly right you're perfectly right others good morning come on give me the answers i told you very good very good very good very good yes zui correct bumi is also correct adash where are you all abhi mujhe to main roz good morning hi bolna padega by the way because uh, i guess uh, few colleges have started or something like that where i came to know and in the afternoon there will be college lectures practicals in the colleges and so the afternoon lectures are not possible so my dears our lectures are going to be in the morning okay so good morning to all of you all and answer my question the name of the two hormones which are responsible for the calcium balance in our body which we have studied in chemical coordination chapter come on very good yes dhru right beta aur ek chahiye naam mujhe come on i want two names Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calcitonin and all are answering. I know because it's associated with calcium. Which is the second one? Very good, Dhru. Very good, Bita. You are very right. Perfectly right. Perfectly right. Come on, others also. I want all of you all to participate in this thing. Okay. Want you all to actually study the content, ah? Huh? We are going ahead with a portion. I don't want you all to have a backlog. That is the reason the tests are been organized in such a way that the previous portion is also included in your tests. आपके जो FLTs होते हैं या maths होते हैं, especially उसमें मैं ensure करती हूँ कि पहले वाला portion भी थोड़ा बहुत included हो, so that you keep in touch with the previous chapters. Okay? Yeah. So basically, what happens? I had shown you the cycle entirely. If you remember, right? So the calcium balance needs to be maintained in our blood. If it does not get a resource from the food we eat for the calcium, it is going to pick up the calcium from the bones, right? Yes. Yes. Very good. Yeah. So it is going to pick up the calcium from the bones. hai na so that is what is going to make holes in the bones of uh, you know all of us so see as the age advances bone resorption outspaces bone formation hence bones lose the mass and become brittle more calcium is lost in the urine sweat then it is gained through our diet right Hence, prevention of disease is better than treatment by consuming adequate amount of calcium. 
and we should have good amount of exercise at young age. Then this problem will not be taking place. Osteoporosis may be caused due to decreasing estrogen secretions after menopause. That was the reason. The second point says that it is primarily age-related disorder more common in women than in men. So why is it more common in women? Because of this particular point, that it is resulting due to decrease in the estrogen secretion. So after menopause, of course, estrogen secretion will be negligible to nil, I would say. Of course, it may also occur due to deficiency of vitamin D, low calcium diet, decreased secretion of sex hormones and thyrocalcitonin. Okay, so even that may be, uh, you know, the different causes for this osteoporosis. Apart from fractures, osteoporosis may lead to shrinkage of the vertebrae, height loss, haunched back and bone pain. See, in, you know, elderly people, especially females, you might have seen, you know, they bend and they've got a haunched back. Yeah. You've seen such type of, you know, elderly females. Yeah. They actually bend and they've got a haunched back. And reduction in height ka matlab hota hai bita. Ye bending ke wajay se hai na. They cannot stand straight. They are always in this position only. So that is going to be because of this problem of lack of calcium in the body. Is everything clear? Osteoporosis samaj mein aagaya. Achhi dara se. Cause of osteoporosis, calcium deficiency or PT. Both, both. Both, but both. Both are right. Okay. But more precise, more correct answer will be calcium deficiency. Why the PTH is going to act? The PTH is going to act the PTH is going to act for what? It is going to act for loss of calcium. No? Easy. Okay. Fine. One minute. Huh? I'm thinking I must come here. Just give me a minute. So that is what is about the chapter of locomotion, which we have completed. So we have done with this chapter as well. In the next chapter, we'll go ahead with understanding the tissues and uh, we'll move ahead with the portion as well. Okay. Yeah, no, no, it is going to be both actually, both the answers are correct. Both the answers are correct. Okay. Chal. See you all, Bita. It's almost 9.15. I know I'm leaving you 15 minutes early, but enjoy. Okay, on Friday, we'll go ahead with a new chapter. Friday, we'll go ahead with a new chapter. Bye-bye. See you all, Bita. Okay, anyone who wants to have any specific uh, doubts, anyone has got regarding any of the chapters till now, whatever we have done? Because now it is not being possible to conduct the, uh, you know, doubt sessions. So if anyone specifically is having any doubts to be cleared, you're welcome. Living, living. Coma may have, but it is living. That person is living. Okay. I don't know, my dear. We have to wait and see how the conditions are and the management will take the decision. Then we can start with the offline. Okay. Uh -huh. No, it is living, living. It is living. Okay, because the vital processes are going on, the heart is beating and uh, oxygen is being supplied. DNA replication in meiosis. 
because only half the number of chromosomes will be passed on to the daughter cells. Why is it necessary to have a replica of 46 chromosomes? Because we have to have, every cell should have 46 chromosomes, uh, which is going to be um, species specific. So if it, the replication of DNA does not take place, the daughter cells will have 23 number of chromosomes instead of 46. So to restore the, uh, you know, 46 as the species specific number, it has to undergo replication. So both the daughter cells will get equal number of chromosomes. None of them will have less than that. Okay. DNA delivery is only once in both. Yeah, yeah, only once, yes. Ah, person is brain dead in case of uh, this thing, traumatized state. Yes. Taxonomic sequence, characterization, classification, identification, character, characterization, identification, classification, and nomenclature. First is characterization, then identification, then classification, and then nomenclature. Hmm? Okay. Anything else? Anyone else who wants to have any doubt clearing? Any doubts in your mind? Any process not understood? Any concept not understood? Any sentence not understood? Any word not understood? Today I completed a bit early, so we have got a little bit of time to discuss. If you have got any doubts, I can definitely clear those doubts. No doubts? All clear? I hope you all are solving the modules. Please keep on solving the modules. Uh, it's going to be beneficial for you all only. So uh, don't think that we must ask do Don't do like that way. Keep on solving your modules regularly. Okay. No, go according to NCRT. NCRT says characterization, identification, classification, nomenclature. I'll get it when the uh, offline lectures would start, na? <laughs> okay. Chalo, beta. Then see you. Have a great day ahead. And we'll see each other uh, on Friday, 7.30 in the morning. Okay? Bye. Bye.